Soil conditions here are truly tough. Some would say impossible. More water than soil. After a rain, a man can sink to his waist. Construction's almost impossible. In fact, it's common to lay 20-foot thicknesses of fill to achieve a crest elevation of 10 feet. A technique that can build a firm foundation here will work anywhere, from the easiest to the most difficult sites, even those that were considered economically undevelopable. We came here to prove that tensar geogrids can meet the challenges of even the toughest soil conditions. The first task we faced was building an access road from the old levee to the new levee site. The site had already been cleared of trees using a crane mounted on a wide track swamp buggy. The first morning more than a dozen trucks full of river sand were backed up and waiting to dump their loads of fill for the access road. And everything was held up for the survey team. They were struggling to place the slope stakes for the haul road. After the rod man had taken 15 minutes to move through this muck, we suggested to the crew chief that he roll out some tensar geogrid so the rod man could just walk out and place the stakes. The chief looked at us like he thought we had a few loose parts between the ears. Well, after about another 20 minutes and the rod man moving another 15 feet, the crew chief came over and asked us to show him our suggestion. Two men rolled out the grid, walking on it all the way. In less than three minutes, they covered five times the distance the rod man had taken a half hour to cover. And soon everyone was out walking on the grid, even in street shoes, saying things like, this is amazing. Everyone, that is, but this one big Cajun we call Bubba. No, that ain't right. We call him Big Bubba because he weigh about as much as two regular people. Bubba say he's not walking on this grid. He say if he go out there, he sink so deep they're never going to get him out. But this fellow from Tensar, he say, Bubba, you sink in and I buy you the biggest steak in your islands. All 300 pounds of Bubba was out on that grid in about two seconds. He walk on the edge. He jump up and down. But no matter what he do, Bubba don't sink. That tensor passed the Bubba test. From that point on, it was easy. The sand trucks came in and the first fill lifts were spread by a light dozer. We soaked the sand with water spray to assist in compaction. Then the loaded dump trucks rolled right out onto the site. With only about two feet of sand and a layer of geogrid between them and the muck. Muck which wouldn't support a man's weight. So Tensar Geogrids met the challenge. A layer of Geogrid, covered by about two feet of compacted river sand, has converted terrain too weak to support a man's weight into a firm base, strong enough to bear the load of bulldozers and repeated truck traffic. But you might wonder what other techniques have been tried in these conditions. Would a high-strength geotextile work as well? So we thought we'd see for ourselves. It took six men to position the geotextile. Rolling it out straight was almost impossible. And in the really soft areas, the crew found themselves in a bit of difficulty. With Geogrid, it was a different story. Only two men were needed, and it supported their weight with ease. But hold on here. You're probably thinking, how can one be sure that the sand and bayou mud aren't intermixing? Well, we saw for ourselves, even in the worst case scenario, after some heavy rains. But what about after repeated truck traffic? The excavation for this settlement plate gave us an opportunity to look. There's no contamination of black bayou mud within the light brown sand all the way down to the Tensar Geogrid. The sand is still dense and holds a vertical scarp all the way down until water just above the Tensar Geogrid begins to seep into the excavation. Wait, <laughs> I guess this old bayou not so tough after all. At least not so tough for the tensar. These folks around here are not going to have so much to worry about next time the hurricane comes. 